this is the D-Link DSS 16 Plus. I've had this set up for about two years, maybe a little longer. This is the main switch in my basement uh, computer lab. It, uh, it's brain dead easy to install. You just plug it into the router, run some Cat5, plug that in. You don't even need crossover cable. Very, very easy, very, very useful device. But its time has come. Its, uh, its top data transfer speed is 100 megabit, which you might think of as being plenty. But nowadays, it's not. And we're switching to gigabit throughout the whole house. So this switch has got to go. This is the router and NAS and Vonage adapter uh, that make up the essence of the uh, hub of the network, if you will. Now, this is uh, going to be radically changed. The router, I just got, um, oh, I might have had it for a year now. I had to send one of them in. It's a, a Linksys router. It has the draft N capability in it, but the main reason I got the router is that it's a, it's a gigabit router and it has the ability to hook up a USB hard drive to it. Now I don't have one of those hooked up. Now I've got the Netgear toaster <laughs> uh, in, in, in place right now that that's of, of some utility. It's very, very slow, however, and I will probably be retiring it with the new infrastructure upgrade. I built a file server, which you don't see here, because uh, it's hooked up, actually hooked up to a switch in the computer lab. That's not a very efficient way to do a file server, but when I do the infrastructure upgrade, that file server will be brought out here, and it will get its own switch right off the gigabit router. That along with putting a gigabit uh, NIC in it should increase the file server speed dramatically. Well here we go. As you can see it's four gigabit NICs, a five port gigabit switch, and a 25 port gigabit switch. What I want to do now is a little test to see the speed difference in moving a file folder from my flagship machine to the file server and back. And if right now you can see that if we went all the way through this, it would take seven minutes. But the idea is to cut this down to something dramatically less when we put the switch in, which is what we're going to do next. What's this you say? What's this you say? Why do you have a new Netgear router? What's wrong with your old router? Well, when I plugged in one of the switches, it decided to blow up. Now I need a new router, which I bought at Best Buy this evening. And here's the new Netgear 24 port switch. Ah, it's beautiful. We've definitely had our share of unpleasantness tonight, what with the old Linksys router dying, having to run out and get a new router. But we can look at the Netgear switch and really be pleased, we hope. We also had something else bad happen. The file server died, and it's entirely my fault, uh, and I'll explain that more in detail later. But the file server is down, which really frustrates a large portion of why we're doing all this. But more on that in a moment. So I mentioned that my file server went south on me, and 
um, it was my fault. Basically, I took it down for the first time in 21 days. I had um, seen the message that the RAID 1 was destroyed and RAID 2 was destroyed, and I figured that, that was bad. Uh, so, um, what I think happened was that uh, the way I had the RAID card configured when I first put it together, I shouldn't have configured the RAID card at all, and I should have just built the software RAID over top of it, because I think that I overwrote the RAID card's formatting with the software RAID, and that would have created a bad situation that would have uh, shown up when I turned the computer off, but I didn't, I didn't test that. I didn't take the computer down. I just assumed that it was bulletproof, which was a very dumb assumption. So what I'm doing now, I, as you can see here, this is a video of the SourceForge.net forum. And you think about geeks and you think, oh, you know, they know about computers and everything, but, but there's still very different levels. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a hardware guy. Uh, and this uh, FreeNAS, as beautiful as it is, is written in um, BSD. I mean, how many people understand that? One, I think one of the guys, one of the, the this this Arnie that responded to my post on Source Source Forge. I think he is actually one of the creators of FreeNAS, uh, and he's given me some instructions. I can I understand. Um, some of the things he's telling me, the first thing he's telling me is uh, making a copy of the disk. I, I have no idea what he means by that, uh, using that. I mean, I think it's a command in BSD or something, and I'm not sure what to do with that. But, um, so I'm going to try this, and hopefully it'll work out. I think that, that one thing that this build, if you will, is is doing is, is showing that, that patience is absolutely necessary in dealing with computers, <laughs> because... Uh, Otherwise, you won't get anything done. So this is why you can never give up. I have successfully rebuilt the RAID, and I am about to move my data someplace safer. Although I think I fixed it, period. I think it's just completely fixed. So that's it, and um, we're about ready to wrap this project up. So in reconstructing the RAID, after I got the data back and backed it up, I went with the latest version of FreeNAS, and, and they have in the new stable version, Stable RAID 5. And this is a huge deal, because if you're doing straight mirroring, all you're going to get is 500 gig tops. But as you can see here, with RAID 5, I got 715 gig using four 250 gig drives. This is huge, plus they're all in one drive. It's really what I wanted in building a file server. I can't tell you how awesome this is. I guess I just did. Well, the flashing lights on these devices indicate success. This is the final money shot of the upgrades to the network. You can see the new Netgear router is functioning beautifully and uh, the file server has been moved over to the table that has the router and assorted other devices on it. The venerable Netgear toaster, the new Gigabit small 5 uh, port switch, the EPS is old. I had to add uh, two fans to the file server. It um, can go back here. It, it was, uh, it got a little hot. Um, my daughter's stuff. And uh, I had it up to 65 degrees Celsius, which is pretty hot. And now with the addition of two fans, it's down to 40 degrees Celsius, which is within normal parameters. So that's it. My network is upgraded. The file server is in place and all is well in the world.